हेलो 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 एवरीबॉडी सो नाइस टू सी यू इन द इवनिंग आई नो वी बिन डूइंग कंजेक्टिवली मॉर्निंग इंस्टा लाइव सो या फॉर अ चेंज वी थॉट लेट्स डू इवनिंग अ लॉर ऑफ यू हैड सेड यू लाइक एन इवनिंग इंस्टा लाइव डेफिनेटली वेर एम आई आई एम वेरी मच इन माई हाउस फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हू नो आई लव स्विमिंग सो वी हैव दिस पूल द रीजन आई एम सिटिंग आउटडोर्स टूडे इज बिकॉज आई रियली नीड द फ्रेश एयर आई हैव बिन होल डे वर्किंग फ्रॉम माई रूम सो आई सर ओके लेट्स गो गिव यू गिव यू ऑल एंड माई सेल्फ a new environment why am i wearing sunglasses today i was just cleaning out my store and opening all those dusty cartons has given me an eye allergy so i said you know what i'm not going to go on insta live with everyone asking what happened to your eyes what happened to your eyes what happened to your eyes so i said i'm just going to pretend like i'm a heroine and i have come uh, wearing my sunglasses okay so uh, that's why <laughs> so let's get started let's see who all are in the house old soul dvs in the house coach farida khan is in the house uh, coach lena badwa white rose you're so enthusiastic thank you awesome let's see some questions i see tell us about coaching mastery and super specialization so for some of you here who are interested in becoming coaches uh, i am doing something this sunday uh, where i will explain to you if you are interested in becoming a coach what is the step by step process to do so so if anyone here is interested in coaching mastery please come this sunday i'll be happy to take you through the entire process as well as do a very interesting quiz for you for you to know whether you are coach material or not as far as super specialization is concerned once people go through coaching mastery and they feel like wow puja we would love to join you itself then i allow them by training them for 3 months so it's a 3 month training coaching special uh, sorry super specialization where we take you through the back end of how we run our business in case you want to start your own brand or you want to join us the only way through is after you finish doing coaching mastery okay All right Neha Karan how to start coaching when i always feel like i need to learn more whole day want to watch courses Neha my sweetheart if you want to start coaching just know that no matter what level you reach there will be something more that you can grow into like i remember i met jack canfield when he was 40 years into the coaching business and he even then had a coach i remember his coach's name was jim bunch and you can google all these people so jack canfield's coach at that point in 2010 was a guy called jim bunch really young fun guy i met him personally really nice uh, i currently have my own coach because i feel constantly that i need to continuously learn as i go along so you know the thing is they have we think we are going to arrive one day where we will know it all and then we will start coaching but instead i want you to know how we have school in college you have to treat coaching like this if you are in third grade you can teach first grade if you are in fifth grade you can teach third grade when you are in tenth grade you can teach eighth grade so like that you will keep progressing and your bandwidth to help other people will keep growing but if you are thinking that you are ever going to become that perfect that you will have no challenges that every relationship will be awesome your health will be too good your money and career will be flourishing and then only you will start darling that's a myth we all carry and i see so many amazing coaches who have such a beautiful helpful heart not starting because the focus is on them my suggestion is shift the focus on the people you need to serve and then you know what your entire mindset will change because when you have to serve other people when your mission becomes of service then what you are who you are becomes less important and the person becomes more important i always keep mother teresa in my mind that did she care how she looked how her english was what were the words she was using is she communicating properly or not is she looking good or not is her energy correct or not she didn't care about anything she had only one purpose to help and i want you all to have that one purpose to help yeah sweetheart neha if you have a heart that is sensitive and wanting to help let nothing stop you my darling and the fact that you're saying i i love watching courses the whole day i till today love watching courses the whole day okay so 340 manju i am a phd student and once i had a severe anxiety and depression after rigorous study routine and because of relationships issue i'm still healing i want to be an ias officer but i feel scared by remembering 
So Manju, you know what? All of us in our life at different points have gone through something where because of that we have grown into the person we've become. So instead of focusing on who you used to be, can you start to applaud who you are today? I want you to focus on who you have become today which is so beautiful thanks to that experience because of that experience maybe you have grown a sensitive heart maybe you've had to slow down maybe you've had to raise your feminine energy maybe you've had to become more mindful and present with everything that you do I don't know what the journey has been like what I know is as you keep going forward start acknowledging who you are the amazingness that you carry rather than those moments that made you come here means they taught you to be the person you are today i hope you're able to use this information snehal mahajan my sweetheart very good evening to you seeing you after a long time i know snehal it's been so long <laughs> You are a heroine. <laughs> thank you. Savita Sujay. Sao Bana Pooja. You look gorgeous. So thank you. See, I know how to turn an eye infection into gorgeousness. So you know what? Either we can tell ourselves the stories that we can. Oh my God. How will I do my Insta live? I have an eye uh, allergy. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Or just make it so much fun that it doesn't even matter. Hey, na? Holistic nourishment. How did you build this beautiful community here? Hmm, lovely question, holistic nourishment. Honestly, one person at a time. So I remember about two years ago when I started to get online, one of my visions was to create this sacred space for women that they should be able to come here and speak about all that is going on in their life that they are not able to share with anybody else. You see, many, many years ago, I was suffering and I needed that space where I could without feeling embarrassed, without feeling shame, without feeling guilt, if I could just share it with someone and someone could give me perspective without judgment, how beautiful a world would that be it used to be something that I used to seek out. And so eventually what happened when I started to build the course enlightenment specifically, one of my visions was what if this is a sacred space for anyone to come in and be able to share. And I feel like over time with all of that sharing, with all of that comfort, automatically the community has just become so loving, so large hearted, so amazingly giving. You know, a woman holding space for women is so, so beautiful. And in the patriarchal world, we are so pitched against each other that we didn't realize that we were actually each other's best friend, cheerleader, supporter, encourager. You call it what you want. And today, as I go uh, in May, I'm launching a, a company called Life by Design Academy. And the tagline for that company is going to be everyone needs a big sister, which means no one should be on this journey alone. So as you ask me this question, I hope and pray that someday all of my coaches are going out in the world and truly holding space for every single person that is not able to go on a journey alone in life. They know they have a lot of potential, but they need someone to believe in them before they believe in themselves. They need someone to uh, give them hope when their mood or their uh, inspiration is not doing the work it needs to do. Yeah. So that's pretty much how I have built this community. I'm, if of everything you had to ask me, what am I most proud of? It would be my clients. You know, they shine like this morning. I spent the whole morning with um, lots of ladies who had graduated from some of my courses. And just to hear them talk about the kind of transformation they've gone through, my heart is so full of love today. It's like, it's like there are days you know, when you get reminded why you do what you do. Today is one of those days. So as you ask me this question, it's like I want to answer it. And God made you ask me this question because I'm so full of the love that I have received all morning and the love that I've given all morning because the kind of deep connection I have now with these most beautiful, amazing goddesses is just mind blowing. I feel lucky and blessed to have found them. And I know they feel similarly. Saubana, Saubana, all of my gorgeous ladies, I see you. Yash, Yashupur Gauda, ma'am, just out of curiosity, want to know about the courses that you're going on right now. You can share only if you are okay with it. Okay, I'm back. Can you hear me? It got paused due to poor connection. 
So Yashpur Gaurda is asking, can you share all your courses with us? Of course I can. Uh, can you still hear me clearly? If you can hear me, just put hearts in the comment box. Okay, perfect. So yes, um, the courses I'm running currently, the most important one is called Coaching Mastery to help women become coaches because in my heart I believe that we as women are naturally the kind of people who love helping others. In the process of helping others, if we can get paid, how beautiful would that be? Now, when you are planning to become coach, then I parallelly run some other courses to improve your personality. So you are the product, right? So on one side, I have courses which are all around learning the science of how to be a coach, how to hold space for people, what the content should be, what the marketing should be, all of that. And on the other spectrum, I talk about how you can awaken your goddess, how you can become the best version of yourself, how you can fix all your own relationships, your own life before you try to help others. And that's the whole awakening enlightenment. So I have two sides. One, which is all about self-growth and one which is all about coaching. I highly recommend that as you do self-growth, you also do something to become fabulously rich. Why do I say something like this? Honestly speaking, a woman without financial power can never be completely in control of her life. She's always going to have to please someone else so that her life works for her. I want women to become financially free for one reason alone, which I call freedom. If you truly want freedom of thought, freedom of action, freedom of being in the harmony and alignment of your own life, you need to be financially free. And that's the gift I want to give to the woman tribe that I have in 2022. I want all the ladies who are working with me to be starting to earn anything between 50,000 to 1 lakh a month to begin with and then take it much more as in when they keep growing in their skill set but that's the minimum i want every woman to have in her hand monthly so that's the intention i'm putting out yeah sujita fly high how to be more confident in front of the camera sometimes i just become so nervous sujita it's all about practice you know in 2012 my mentor had told me that you have to puja start making videos and i was so nervous i never used to like my voice i never used to like the size of my nose i never used to like my profile the way i used to look in camera and all of those things that i was focusing on and it took me almost four years before i made my first video like, I don't know, I was just waiting for everything to become perfect before I make my first video. And by the time I made my first video, I realized that, you know, had I just listened to my mentor and not wasted those four years, how much better it would have been. So to all of you here who are feeling nervous, who are feeling hesitant, who are feeling underconfident, who are feeling overwhelmed or any other such emotion, my suggestion is the more scared you are, the more it is your calling. Let me repeat that. The more scared you are, the more it is your calling. So please, if you are feeling scared and nervous and doubt and fear is sitting on both your shoulders, then today itself start to make sure that you take one, 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 one baby steps towards that that scares you because that that scares you is truly going to take you towards your purpose. If it didn't scare you, you would have done it easily because it's a stretch. You need to stretch yourself. And as you stretch your personality, your aura will grow, your confidence will grow and your mission will keep getting closer and closer and closer to you. Okay, my sweetheart. Oh, Yashpur was asking, ma'am, can you tell us the courses you are in right now? Right now, currently, I'm only in one course um, under a man called Brendan. This is his mastermind. Um, it's, it's once a month on the first of every month and it's for the whole year. It's a course that helps us figure out different strategies for online marketing. And that's pretty much my topic because in 2022, I'm going to be looking for new, 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 new ways of what's happening in the metaverse that we can start to adopt to make sure that our courses get gamified and, and, my, and my clients receive the best from me. All right, Ashia Sajil, my spouse gets into complain mode quite often. I'm not comfortable justifying my actions. It sort of disturbs to do it. How to powerfully handle it? Ashia, I would love for you to start to sit down and without making him defensive, 
see if you can start to have some honest conversation around it what do i mean when i say this half the time when we want to speak up to someone about something that's already upsetting us our vibration is to say it in an attack way attacky way you know what it means it basically means you may land up saying why do you always keep complaining any time i do anything i have to justify it to you um, and like that you, his negativity can make you negative now instead if you can put on your armor and go in more like a coach rather than reconnecting reconnecting I hope it's reconnected. So yeah. So if you go and ask him better questions like you know how can I help you? Okay, I see that this is something you want me to do. If you want me to do this then you know this is the support I will need from you and start to have better conversations and start to ask better questions. Better questions are how can I help you with this? What can I do if you want me? How can you know? So whenever you're asking questions, we start to find in the question there is a solution, or you're going towards a solution that works so much better than us going into attack mode. So be very careful. A lot of times when I'll tell my clients, don't go in attack mode. Like I never attack. I agree. That's because your the attack on you is so much stronger than the one that you are giving out that you may feel like I never attack, but the real truth is we mirror what we receive. So when we receive that disrespect or that we tend to give it back in the same coin, that's just naturally our reflex action is designed like that. So see if you can sit down and start having intelligent, calm conversations around how you would both like to together grow your life. You know, I remember in 2006, Puneet and I had gone to Goa and we sat and made a list of all his goals, all my goals and all of our common goals. And then we said, what are our big them? I said, my biggest challenge is cream. Okay. And so just try that. I have a feeling it will work like wonders because Puneet and I then started writing, you know, everything that was a challenge and we started to explain it to the other person more in terms of needing help or wanting help rather than in the terms of why do you do this to me? So when you change your attitude to asking for help in that rather than getting him defensive you'll see a lot will start to change okay sweetheart all right mahi 1526 ma'am i lack confidence and cannot concentrate on my career i've become emotionally weak and i cannot focus on anything i don't know what to do where to move and how to achieve and focus please help mahi first thing Stop even saying this to yourself. Your words are becoming your reality. Remember, everything that you say becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, wow. Can you hear the dogs? The dogs on my street have decided to get into a... <laughs> All right. So, please, Mahi, my first request is start to say, you know what? I may not be able to concentrate for the whole day, but for one hour, I can. And let me try that. There's something called the Pomodoro technique, which I'd love for you to Google, which says 45 minutes of straight focus and then 15 minutes break, then 45 minutes of clear focus, then 15 minutes of break. You can get your hands on Eat That Frog. It's a beautiful book. You can get your hands on Atomic Habits, another beautiful book to improve your focus. There's a book called The Power of Focus. All of these have great strategies. But the first conversation I feel you need to have in your head, Mahi, is the fact that you're saying I don't have confidence and I can't concentrate and I don't have faith because, because remember whatever we say after I am becomes our truth so if I keep saying I am lazy I am lazy I am lazy then my brain is going to make sure that it shows me evidence that I am lazy if I keep saying I have so much bad luck I have so much bad luck bad luck will start to surround me and if I keep saying I just not able to tap into my creativity I don't know what's happened to me I'm so blocked these days that will become my truth and for you your focus and your concentration has become a block because your mind is so aware that you can't do that. The minute you sit down, your mind goes off somewhere else to think. And at that point, your observer mind says, look, you again went away somewhere else. I told you, you can't focus and it's becoming your reality. Today onwards, use this mantra. I am responsible for my own focus. I am responsible of my own concentration. Put some nice instrumental Beethoven kind of music and sit down, whether you can concentrate or not, at the same time every day for one hour, no matter what, just keep sitting, whether you can concentrate or you can't concentrate. Within a week, you'll see a massive shift in your ability to focus. Especially when we start to keep the same time to sit down and do uh, serious work, 
automatically then god starts to recognize that this is our genius period and in our genius period we are able to bring the creativity out okay god bless you my darling happy why soul 1 2 3 ma'am how to attract your soulmate and marriage nice so happy why soul one of the things i always tell especially the young girls that come to me is how complete can you be in your own life before you look for someone else are you proud about the kind of person you are or are you just aiming really high you want everything in the guy but you yourself don't match him so work on who you are first if you want to truly attract someone who's amazing raise your vibration remember we attract in our life two steps ahead or two steps below our own vibration so if you are vibrating at 4 5 6 the chances are you are going to attract a 7 or 8 or a 2 3 or 4 right same way you want to make sure that in every manner you are living your best vibe now for you to live your best vibe you have to start to feel more complete as who you are this whole concept of how to get married how to find a soulmate how to you know what there has to come a time in this world where all of this has to become optional when you find the right person you marry till you don't find the right person guess what you live a very complete life so i'm going to tell you live such a complete beautiful life that your vibe is so awesome that you have a queue outside of house of hum, who all you want to marry you okay so that's the journey i want you to take not of being desperate because remember the more desperate we are the more our energies of chase and men don't like to be chased they like to chase they like to chase women who are unavailable not women who are fully available demand and supply so you want to create all of that these are all natural laws of the world i have nothing uh, against the Mm, woman proposing or woman chasing i have nothing against that but a natural formation of how this works is usually in this manner and i feel the more confident a woman is the more she carries herself with knowing her own self worth and self value the more attractive she becomes so i always give the example of a honey bee you can either be a honey bee and go from flower to flower to flower to flower to you know attract them or you can become the flower and stand in your sweetest nectar with your beautiful fragrance and your gorgeous colors knowing that you know what every honey bee crossing will not be able to resist you so working on the flower my sweetheart to me is the most important thing to attract a soulmate i know it's the opposite of what most people would say but to me actually not attracting or not chasing is actually attraction and the most beautiful way to get someone yeah i hope that answered your question my darling dhoot shilpa ma'am how can i stop giving excuses of time and start my exercise and other regular work and other not regular work shilpa my sweetheart you know what when we are living other people's goals the chances are that you will land up making excuses when it becomes self the reason becomes because i want to then it's very very different so i would love for you to the first thing i would love for you to do is write out every single excuse that you make and what is your counter reasoning to it so let's say your excuse for the day is i'm feeling too tired so when you say that to yourself what are you going to answer that to be able to beat i am feeling too tired maybe you can say no i am not going to use that as an excuse i know my mind likes to say that to me when i am feeling tired i have a pool behind right so if i touch it right now supremely cold water okay in chennai also these days the water is really cold not as cold as all the north of india but still very cold and when i touch the water i can tell you i start to feel like oh my god my mind will immediately go into it's too cold you'll have to blow dry your hair again why do you want to swim today you can always swim tomorrow your body is feeling so lethargic any hundreds of excuses but in my head i just go 5 4 3 2 1 and jump into the pool because what i have learned is either my mind will win or i will win both can't win so if if my mind is more intelligent than me then my mind will win or my excuses will win or i have to win now every step of the way if you can start to go i want to win i want to win in this situation i want to win so write out all your excuses and write out an answer to every excuse 
when you do that you will start to see a different conversation in your head where you will be stronger than your excuse and the day shilpa you become stronger than your excuse there's nothing that will be able to stop you is that a swimming pool behind yes very much payal desai ma'am hi can you please tell us if some keeps someone keeps snapping at you what do we do this person might be elderly to you payal there are many ways of handling the situation depending on the kind of relationship you'd like to share with this person if this person is important and you want to be respectful then a lot of times you just have to let it go or you can say it firmly but politely that if you speak to me like this then i will not reply back till you don't speak to me nicely okay so setting boundaries is a very important aspect of being a woman of today because i feel like we are being taken for granted and expected to compromise adjust tolerate all the time so see how you want to communicate this you know for me i love to set consequences so when someone speaks to me badly i tell them you know what come back when you want to speak properly and then i will listen to you so if you if they are telling you to do some work for them or if they need to have a relationship with you start to cut that relationship chip off till they learn how to speak to you because you know what remember we train people on how they speak to us they speak to like like that to everybody but you'll notice to a few people they don't speak like that why because that person they know will not tolerate their junk same way you have to become a person who will stop tolerating their junk when we stop tolerating they stop giving but most of the time you know what we are so good pe- such good people at heart that we feel scared to disappoint them we feel scared to confront them we feel scared to lose them we feel scared it will hurt them and in the process of thinking what it will do to them we don't land up speaking our truth but what i've noticed is if you are willing to for a small period of time go through the discomfort of a, a uncomfortable conversation it pays off in the long run like for me if someone in front of me sits and discusses someone i love i will very clearly tell them that you know what it doesn't interest me to discuss them if you want to solutionize a problem with me please talk but i'm not interested in neither gossiping about them nor putting someone down it doesn't leave me with good energy same way if i feel like someone's talking to me about something that i don't agree with either i will back off or i will let them know that you know what this is not a conversation i'm in the mood of today so can we not please have it now for 5 minutes it will be really awkward because people are not used to hearing sentences like this but i can assure you that one 5 minutes awkwardness saves me the rest of my life they will never talk such way such things with me so it that 5 minutes becomes so worth it for me if i am willing to go through the awkwardness of those 5 minutes it pays me like anything so i'm going to request you pile start to think what's the sweetest gentlest but uh you know a, a strong uh, convincing way of speaking to this person so that they start to understand and they may not understand at the first go but if you keep on repeating yourself 3 4 5 times the time will come when they'll start to take you seriously sunira hi pooja it is very difficult for me to wake up in the morning i'm trying this from ages my dear sweetheart sunira you know what some people um for them waking up is very very hard maybe because you are sleeping late uh, you, for me the most important thing to notice is what is the pattern of your house if the pattern of your house is dinner at 10 uh, sleeping at 12 waking up will become almost impossible the reason why i can so easily wake up at 4:30 is because i have dinner at 6 and we are in bed by 8 you put anyone in bed by 8 they will be awake at 4 most people i can assure you right so it's not so much about fixing your morning as much as it is about fixing your evening so sunira from today start to focus on your evening routine being such that it supports your morning routine don't worry too much about your morning routine trust me when i say this if you make yourself sleep before 9 there's no way you will not get up early in the morning within a week you will see the whole shift happening okay Ananya Patnaik are there any self growth courses coming soon 
Ananya, we do have an awakening course to which we are working around when to do it. If you are interested, stay in touch with Gunjan. When I will put this video up, under that, there will be a number she will share. Give her a call and ask her when is the next awakening happening and um, she will guide you on that journey. Okay, sweetheart? Siddha Jina. Hi ma'am, can you please tell me which is the best course or certification I can go through to become a life coach? So Siddha, I have a lot of answers for this. For the simple reason that Success Gyan today has a number of people who are training other people in becoming coaches. If you want to specialize in one-to-one, -one, then I believe I have an amazing course to offer where I will take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to become a fabulous one-to-one -one coach, how to have content for all your 12 sessions, as well as how to market yourself, how to do your free clarity call and all of that, okay? If you are interested in running an online course after you become life coach, then I have a wonderful friend and my Monday accountability partner called Siddharth Raj Shekhar. You can look him up. He is brilliant at training people on how to become an online trainer. If you are interested in holding seminars and group coachings, then both Siddharth and me have trained under a man called Blair Singer. He has a beautiful Train the Trainer program. You can definitely look at that. If you want to know who I studied under, there's a man called Jack Canfield in America. He too has a beautiful Train the Trainer program who, I mean, he's the one, he's my original teacher. So I have a lot of regard for him. He's fabulous at what he does. So I would love for you the best thing to do is to go explore all the teachers and see which is the one you are most attracted to which is the one that feels like the right fit for you and then go for that okay so uh, so many other things and of course there is also the icfs and all the international boards which certify you um, i don't know much about them so i can't say much but i'm sure um, everyone in their own space is doing a fabulous job of making life coaches something that I feel the world needs very badly right now. Oh, thank you. Garime is saying, Hi Pooja, I received your book. Thank you so much. Means a lot to me. Oh, that reminds me that we have so many winners of the challenge as well as of our last week's Insta Live. Let me actually quickly take that out and read out all the names. Uh, it was so nice to see so many of you winning and remember what I had said last week was we will send a book to all of you. So let me quickly read out these names and if you are here, I'm going to go right to the bottom. Please put hearts if you are here uh, because I would love to congratulate you personally. So for our Insta Live, uh, take the ones who took a picture of snapshot of this and wrote their takeaways beautifully, uh, we have seven winners. The designer Priyanka, Komal Shah underscore 10, Vivek Vasanta, Benita Patel, Heal with Richa, Lavanya's Art and Tina Jumani Ajtani. So congratulations to all seven of you here who landed up taking a picture and if you haven't yet taken a picture, I'm going to suggest please take a picture quickly. Come on everybody. And then... At 5 o'clock when I close, I'd love for you to put your takeaways, tag me, we will share you on my story and if we land up sharing you on my story, please know that we are going to for sure send you something, okay? And if, if out of these seven you've already received our book, then we won't be repeating that, we won't be sending you the book, uh, but if you haven't received the book, trust me, we will do so. Also, some of you took part in the challenge which was of nature walk. I had asked you that for the whole week, see if you can walk around in nature and click photos of beautiful flowers, trees, sunsets, rain. And oh my God, what a fabulous job all of you did. A lot of these seven winners that I read out had also taken part there. But I'm going to call out the 10 winners of our nature walk uh, challenge. Number one is Mohana Wiki. Uh, Diva Mind 369, Karishma Mangal Palor, Mang, Karishma Nagpal Arora. Sorry, because there are no gaps. I'm, Karishma Nagpal Arora, Image by Design Consultations, D Shikha, Diva Queen Farzana, Richa Amy, Inner Soul Inara, I am 
Hina Parmar. I am Hina Parmar and Fazila Khan underscore S. A massive, massive congratulations to each one of you here. These are our 17 winners of this week. Next week, my book is going to be available on Amazon. So for all of you here who've been asking Pooja how to get your book, how to get your book, I had said, please take part in our challenge and get the book for free. That was one way. But from next week onwards, we will only be having three winners, which means we will be sharing all of your posts. But um, we will take out and do chit picking and take only three winners. And if you want to get my book, we will share my link in the story. Mostly Amazon has said it will take them two, three more days to verify our account to get us started to start selling our books because for two years we haven't done so. So once they do that, I think I'm going to just say bye next Wednesday. Next Wednesday when I come here, I will make sure in my stories the link to the Amazon uh, book account is there so that all of you can go and pick up the book if you haven't already received it for free. Okay, my sweetheart. So for all of you who've been asking, the other thing you've been saying is, Pooja, why are you not sharing my picture in your stories? Some of you have settings in a manner where I can't share. Now, please don't make it my job to tell you how to change your settings so that I'm able to share. If your settings are such that I can't share, then I can't share. And therefore, don't expect me to give you the book because your settings are such. You need to just go see your settings, do it with some friend, check it out. And if it says add to your story, if it allows me to add to my story, I'll definitely add it to my story. As far as challenge for this week is concerned let's think of something interesting to do what can we do as a challenge this week let's do um let's do 8 pm onwards no social media should we try that so no social media 8 pm onwards so your job is to take a picture of what you are doing 8 pm after 8 pm Okay, you can take a picture of you putting cream on your feet. You can take a picture of you reading a book. You can take a picture of you spending time with your family. Let's try to get off social media every day at 8 p.m. Especially for all of you here who want to become early risers. I think that will be very, very beneficial. Anita saying that is big. Yes, Anita, that is big. Okay, let's make it 9 p.m. for those of you who are studying in Clubhouse. Okay, so 9 p.m. onwards. Uh, no social media. I'm not counting Clubhouse as social media because there you're not scrolling. You're actually in long form learning content. So don't worry, Anita. You're very much included in my journey of nine o'clock onwards, eight o'clock onwards, no social media and nine o'clock onwards. Try to even go off technology if you can. Yeah. All right. Mansi Singh Saubana just wanted to tell you that I was a bit overwhelmed and a bit confused about my career. I just went into the garden, sat there. I had a thought of watching your passion test video again and I got so many of my answers. Oh my God, that is so fabulous. That passion test is so powerful that till today when I'm confused, I also tend to go back to it. So I'm so happy to see someone using it in such a beautiful manner. All right, let's see some more questions. Huh, Ma'am, can you make it 10 p.m.? Um, you know what? You decide the time and then just make sure that after that you are off it. Okay? So if it's if 8 o'clock suits you, then 8 o'clock. If 9 o'clock suits you, then 9 o'clock. And the last we'll keep is till 10. Okay? If you are someone who sleeps late, then 10. Basically, let's keep it like this. Two hours before your sleep time. Okay? Two hours before your sleep time. Should we do that? All right, so for all of you, I'm not giving a time. Just the way in early risers, I did not give a time. I just asked you half an hour before your normal time, just start to wake up. This time we'll keep it two hours before your sleep time that you're not on technology, okay? And we'll call the challenge uh, detox, two hour detox. Let's call it two hour detox, which means two hours before sleeping, you have to detox from technology, okay? Two hour detox. All right. The Tiara Closet. How to get a client as a one-to-one -one coaching ma'am as a life coach? Mm, so my dear sweetheart, thank you for asking me this question. This particular coming Sunday, I am going to be taking a session explaining to you what my step-by-step -step process is uh, to get clients, to market yourselves, to 
what are the 10 things I'm going to share with you? What are the 10 things that I think are absolutely essential if you want to become a life coach? So do come for it. It's happening this Sunday from 9.30 to 12.30. Okay, so I think it's 9.30 to 12.30. Uh, but just stay in touch with Gunjan and she will guide you, my darling. Oh, so nice. Some of you so encouraged to take the challenge. Avilash Prince. Hi, ma'am. My son is 14 years old. He is polite and so lovable before, but now he is rude and becoming short tempered. I'm worried about him. Please suggest how to handle him. So Avilash, one of the things that happens when we start to become teenagers is we want our own identity. We are no longer comfortable being controlled. So what you need to do is see if you can, I don't know what you already are doing. I'm sure you're a fabulous father. Otherwise, you won't be asking me this question. But I do want you to start to create a new relationship with him where it's more about him making the choices and facing the consequences rather than you deciding for him. You see, till a certain age, our children are very uh, polite or obedient or what we call you know listening because they don't have their own mind but as they start to grow up now they want to make their own decisions and they start to feel claustrophobic when other people are making decisions for them so if you can sit down with him and say okay what is it you'd like to do and he says I'd like to play video games for three hours so then you ask him okay if you are willing to study three hours then I'm willing to let you play video game for three hours are you willing to face this for to get that or you can start to barter things with him for example i used to all the time tell my children that you know what if you want to eat any junk food you need to add a fruit so if you finish your fruits then you can have your junk food a packet of blue lace masala chips or maggi or whatever it is a lot of times we don't give our children any choice thinking that we know better in the we know better, what happens is till 15 or 16, though your children come out to be marvelous. They've never eaten junk. They've never done anything wrong because you were in control. But the day they have control on their own life, they are frustrated and irritated of having so much control that they are desiring to go wrong. And then when they desire to go wrong, they decide to go all the way all out. Yeah. So very important in our life is one of the things we must do is give freedom to our children to choose between right and wrong. Remember wrong under you is better than wrong behind your back. So I would rather you let them choose wrong and balance it out with the right than these children never having the right to choose wrong. I know friends of mine will say my children have never touched chocolate. I almost feel bad for those children that if your child has never touched chocolate it's so sad. I wish you had given them the choice to understand that in this world, there's going to be chocolate and there's going to be healthy items and there's going to be bad items. And learning to balance rather than being deprived is so much better a way to live life according to me. And again, I'm not a parenting coach, but this is just my opinion. Okay, my sweetheart? Happy style 1234. Pooja, I have taken so many courses at a time, but now I'm overwhelmed and I want to do it, but not understanding where to start so many courses. Please help. Happy style. You know what? At some point in life, I want you to make it your agenda to finish rather than to start. Most of us, I always say this, ordinary women start strong. Extraordinary women finish strong. The... Uh, amazingness of your personality does not come from you starting anything that anybody will do everybody is excited about first of january everybody sets goals and when i say everybody a lot of people set goals and resolutions and from this year i will not do this and from and you know what happens within a week or two it's all gone flat right now what was important had they just taken one goal but said that you know what till jan 31st to 100 percent i will do no matter what that would have been so much better than trying to set something for the whole year and then doing it for one week. So your job is to choose any one course. And the only reason you're doing this course is to build the confidence of finishing it. So my suggestion, look at all your courses and see which is the smallest one. Start with the smallest one and the day you finish, celebrate. Celebrate the fact that you finished one of the courses. And then start with the second smallest one and then finish that and like that slowly slowly build your confidence around finishing strong. I can't begin to tell you that once we learn how to finish we become in the 1% of the world because 90% of the world starts with so much enthusiasm 
and doesn't have any discipline commitment dedication to finish unfortunately that puts you in the 1% the minute you finish anything and you turn rock star so in my tribe i'm always saying this that you know what finish strong and see yourself lead a very different life than the ones who are starting strong All right so AS Prasad is saying how to overcome regrets in life AS Prasad one of the things um that i believe is that regret is one of the most wasted emotion because there's nothing we can do about it so any form of regret is basically you feeling helpless and powerless because you can't go back into your past and change it now what you can ask yourself when you're regretting is how can i make sure that i never have this regret ever again so the question the most important question to ask is what is the lesson that i can learn from this regret so that it doesn't get repeated in my life and if you learn your lessons from your regrets then your regret has a purpose your regret suddenly is a lesson your regret now is serving you rather than making you feel helpless so see if you can start to think in that manner yeah coach vinita kumari true passion test is very powerful i'm so glad that so many of you are using the tools i have given to really make a difference in your life proud of you nutri root diets yeah i am also revising your courage again and again every time new knowledge is getting god bless you my darling saha kari vinda how do you manage work and family time living in a joint family i find it very difficult to manage the task and i feel very distracted saha i have a very clear split so one of the things i do is i try to finish my work by 6 in the evening and then 6 onwards it's all family time ideally apart from thursdays when i have my clubhouse at 8 pm almost all other days at 5 o'clock i close work so 5 to 6 normally i like to rest because of speaking the whole day i like to take a break i like to watch my pakistani plays i like to work with my feminine maybe draw something color something listen to music whatever just calms me and then at 6 o'clock it's family time mostly puneet comes home from either work or golf by 6 o'clock so then it's his and my time joint family see my joint family now uh, till for the first 17 years of my marriage we used to live in the same house same kitchen now we are just all on different floors but in the same house trust me the minute we got our own floors and our own kitchens now we love going to each other's houses and spending time so i to look forward to my i have the cutest nieces and nephews so i love just going up and being with them um so you have to just see what is the time split that you can create between your work and family time when my children were small it was much harder now they both are in london so it's become very different uh, if your children are small you just have to be a lot more kinder to yourself because i always say this don't look for balance look for harmony what does that mean um you may not have every day time for your kids but you may have every now and then able to create some magical moments with them so maybe two days you were very busy at work but then on wednesday you took them to the zoo maybe again thursday friday you couldn't attend to them with full quality time but then on saturday you decided to swim with them so see how you can create harmony so that you are working with your guilt continuously rather than looking for that balance of 2 ghanta ye 2 ghanta ye 2 ghanta ye because sometimes that can become very exhausting sorry the gate is opening sometimes that can become very exhausting especially if you are um, you know in a work that needs you to attend to things at erratic timings so it's 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 always hard but if you get the formula for yourself around your joint family and around your family and around your kids trust me over time the systems get set and once the systems get set it becomes easier and easier image by design consultation so happy finally i won massive congratulations to you darling yes my book will be on its way today divya will send out a message to all of you to get your addresses richu mishra do you believe in nazar 
I think I should make a separate video on Nazar and put it on my uh, Instagram so that people can just keep on going and watching it. Uh, Richu, my sweetheart, one of the things I always say about Nazar is that it is that period of time where you're outside your comfort zone. It's like cement okay when you pour the cement for some period of time if you put your foot in it it will become permanently damaged the concrete right and then if you don't touch it it solidifies and now you can even jump on that concrete slab and nothing will happen nazar to me is that period where for some time you are growing into your bigger aura and you are vulnerable you know every lobster every 3 4 months has to get rid of its shell to create or find a new shell and for those 24 hours it becomes very vulnerable to all the sea creatures now it has to overly protect itself for those 24 hours let me give you an example in 2015 i started writing blogs and one of the things i used to write in my blogs every wednesday is my beautiful relationship with my husband and every wednesday when we used to go out for dinner we would land up having a fight and i would say dekha nazar lag gayi i say good things about you on social media and that day only we will have a fight but what i didn't do is i didn't stop putting my blogs so i put it one week we had a fight i put it a second week we had a fight i put it a third week the fight was smaller but we had a fight and by the fourth week somehow that had become my new normal or my new better and that's what you can do you can start to face it till you become stronger you see the first time shahrukh khan must have come on the cover of film fair I'm sure there must be a lot of nazar but today when he comes on the cover of any magazine you think anyone even cares so all we have to my husband used to say how come dhirubhai ambani doesn't catch nazar and i catch nazar because dhirubhai ambani has been living with that energy for so long that it has solidified and become that so whenever you are in your go- growth spurt which means there is something happening in your life that can make other people jealous or envious then the chances are that you are more vulnerable but a time will come where that will become your new normal and then you have very little to worry just don't stop doing it remember nazar is a very scientific thing all across the globe every culture speaks about it even in the amazon jungle even in egypt 5000 years ago or many many thousand years ago they had that evil eye sign uh, india we have that whole mirchi varoing uh, way so it exists i i believe in nazar but i believe we are stronger than our nazar so when i say we are stronger than our nazar if you decide that you are going to overcome it then trust me you will overcome it even if you catch it very quickly you will be able to turn it around so stop fearing nazar and the worst is when in the fear of nazar we stop doing then to no one should be able to become successful in their life if they stop doing right so get comfortable with catching nazar like catching a cold and then getting rid of it okay how we catch a cold when our immunity is low and then we know how to what medication to take what steam to take what hot water to take what kada to take and we fix ourselves i'm going to say have the same approach to nazar okay if you land up catching it no problem in 2 3 days it will go off okay but the nice part is that once you catch it and it goes off now your aura has grown so never again will you catch it in for that what you had caught it for okay so start to beat your nazar with your own strength and power now when i see myself doing something new and i feel like i can catch nazar i just pray a lot more it gives me a lot of strength so if you have a great connection with your divine you can actually ask him to protect you in that period in your vulnerable period you can just ask him to protect you and a time will come where you will feel divinely protected from all of this so god bless you natasha is that sunday session your regular 99 rupees mine is free natasha but yes it is my regular master class where normally i used to take you into the awakening course but currently it is now rechannelized to coaching mastery so if coaching mastery interests you please come priyanka transformation hi pooja nice to see you after so long nice to see you too priyanka is the sunday session for everyone yes absolutely for everyone if you want to register for it link is in the bio as well as i'll get it put in my stories okay we are also having a beautiful business growth summit this saturday so for anyone here who's interested in building a business five six of us success gyan trainers are going to come together to speak to you about 
how to start a business how to run a business how to have a business mindset you know i have a program called diva preneur those of you got it as bonuses then you understand that you know um it's it's actually a fabulous program look at that and see if you would love for you to come for the business growth summit it's happening this saturday 9 to 12 approximately 9 to 12 okay if you want to register for that again link is in the bio i will make sure um, someone puts it there tomorrow in the story also so both for my master class as well as for my business growth summit both the links will be there please register if you can All right, we're only two minutes away, so I'm going to give all of you an opportunity to quickly click a picture. Come on, everybody, click a picture and make sure you put it in your stories and you put what was your big takeaway from today. Okay, let's do that. Come on. Wait, let me adjust my hair. Yeah, got it. Okay I hope you got the picture don't forget to share it there I see there are still so many questions I wish I could answer every single one of you unfortunately time constraints always make me go away leaving some of you unfulfilled uh, if you have an important question dm me I will try my best to reply if I can no promises there remember to do the challenge this week which is uh, getting off social media 2 hours before your sleeping time so we are going to call it the 2 hour detox uh, make sure you do that make sure you share your takeaways thank you so much for coming week after week after week kala chashma story is awesome <laughs> so cute yeah yeah i think my eye is much better i can feel it that it's much better i'm sure now when i go it will be fine so thank you all for coming bye ciao take care